Well, that's a, that's a long answer because it's uh, something that uh, all the state CIOs are dealing with. And I believe uh, NASDAQ conducts the surveys is, in the last few years, as memory ranking is number one, rightly so. So as we look at uh, the state CIO responsibilities, the PII data of citizens uh, that live in the state of Wisconsin, that's a primary concern, but we can't forget the uh, CIKR, the critical infrastructure, key resources as defined by Homeland Security at the federal level. That's something that we should also uh, try to work a balance between the concerns for protecting our citizens' data and our infrastructure. And then just recently, the elections coming up in another presidential election, uh, the DNC is going to host it in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So obviously, we're going to be deeply concerned about that. We've been evaluating our election processes since 2016. And then recently, as we changed governors in 2018, and now we're coming up for a, a presidential election in 2020. But to build on that, uh, we follow the NISC framework and we identify our assets, we protect our assets, and we detect any intrusion or any attempt to breach the data. Those first three are pretty easy for all of us. It's number four where we're asked to respond. That's where it really becomes more difficult and resource constrained. Proud to say that Wisconsin is responding to these incidences both at the uh, state level and the local local level. And then lastly, recover is, is a, the fifth element of the NIST framework. But moving on from that, as we look at uh, the expenses associated with cybersecurity, uh, we are eventually going to ask for some more funding. But I know that when, they, when I ask for more funding, they're going to ask me, what are we spending? And so we have to be able to understand not only the enterprise spend, but the agency spend and aggregate that up so that I can uh, thoughtfully ask for a percentage uh, increase of more. And not only that, but how does the state of Wisconsin compare to the other 49 states? And that's a difficult comparison because how do you measure the effectiveness of cybersecurity? And lastly, there's a maturity of investing in, in cybersecurity. So I would venture to say among the 50 states, we're at various levels of maturity. And as we look at uh, getting past that, uh, that expense picture, uh, we should consider uh, what can we do for local government. Local government is our weakest link. Uh, some say they're the have-nots through no fault of their own. Uh, they don't have the funding or the skills and the talents to be able to combat the sophistication of the attacks and the frequencies that, that, that are occurring. And then add all that to what they're experiencing and what we're experiencing is workforce development of the cyber pipeline, the cyber professionals. And we're working aggressively very hard with the local schools and in, in, the, in the college levels, interning both the public and private, taking the responsibility, not only for the state, but also for some of our private partners to help uh, facilitate and nurture the interest in cybersecurity as a profession.